Morning, TJ. Welcome to another edition of TATV News. I'm Carl. And I'm Sahishnu. Today is Monday, January 23rd. If you or your club would like to request a morning announcement, scan the QR code or head to tinyurl.com slash tjbroadcast. TJTV News is currently looking for new members and we'd love to have you here. If you're interested, contact Ms. Harris at eharris1 at fcps.edu. The TJ Writing Center is currently accepting applications. If you'd like to write and help others on their writing journey, we hope you apply. Follow instructions on IM for more info. Applications are due on January 27th. If you have questions about this opportunity, email Ms. Henry at shenry at fcps.edu. Juniors, are you looking for an opportunity to develop your leadership skills? If you would like to learn about the week-long Boys and Girls State 2023 experience, please attend the January 24th interest meeting at TJ's College and Career Center. During lunch, to hear from past participants and program recruiters. Please let Ms. Smith and Student Services know if you plan to attend so that we have enough applications. Children in Military Academies, Eagle Scout, and Gold Award nominees and prospective Military Service Academy candidates are especially encouraged to apply. From A period to I-9 to prom, student life at TJ is well known. However, teacher life outside of the classroom can be just as interesting. Students are eating lunch out in the Commons on Friday. A group of teachers gather in a classroom to partake in answering life's biggest question. Is cereal a soup? Welcome to Soup Club. The Soup Club was established in 2008 by former principal Evan Glazer. So you bring in soup one week for all, there's about 26 people. So you do about four batches of a certain soup. Thing and you bring it in once a week and then the rest of the week you enjoy others. So you have one week of hard work and then the rest of them you just enjoy soup. The renovations, the soup club met in a staff kitchen. Go downstairs and call the kitchen. There was a small room in the refrigerator and the sink. But it was really small. So even a dozen people in there was too many. Last week, Mark Forgash, a faculty member in student services, was responsible for making soup for the club. I'm going to make jambalaya, so obviously a um, soup that has uh, andouille sausage and chicken and shrimp and a, and a tomato base with, with rice. Um, and I'll also bring, I'm not exactly sure, maybe a cornbread or a sourdough bread, and then I'll pick up something for dessert. For the 15 years Soup Club has been in operation, it has not only been a way for faculty members to try out new soups, but also a way to interact with colleagues. In student services, I don't have you know a team of teachers that I work with constantly, right? And we have a couple of people who are here in student services as counselors that are members of Soup Club. And then we have a lot of teachers who are members of Parent Club. We have other people that, that you know, I've never met before new teachers this year that joined Soup Club. So it's nice to be able to be in that environment and at the same time see some faces on a weekly basis that I just don't usually interact with. Members of the Soup Club have strong opinions as to what is and what isn't soup. Uh, number one, a melted tub of Neapolitan ice cream. No. My components was that it goes in a crock pot. I don't know many people that serve s cereal in a crock pot. So my idea that it doesn't necessarily have to be hot, but it was, should be something that you would serve out of a crock pot. What about oatmeal? I think you could put like oatmeal in a crock pot and serve it with the... <laughs> but then it's oatmeal in a crock pot, it's just not soup. That's right. It's uh, cereal. It's cereal. No, no, it gets mushy. The during the pandemic, you did not work? No, starch mushy. Upon hearing that TJTV was making a story about the soup club, teachers have started taking measures to secure their special stews. I can't tell you the security precautions we really have to use safe, but I can say that we do keep them safe. We do move it in secrecy during six period through the hallways so that students, they have smelled it at times. What happens at Soup Club stays at Soup Club. Nevertheless, Soup Club has made sure to be as accommodating as possible for all faculty members. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. From TJTV News, this is Sahishnu Hanuman Sethi. And Carl Chen. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you next time.